right, eighth grade. We are up and running again. So let's start from the beginning. Prior to leaving school, we were supposed to have four images. Actually, I should say just one image um, chosen. And then those were supposed to be put into a Word document as very blurry, less blurry, least blurry, and then all the details on it. Um, you can see that these three are stapled upside down. The first three are upside down and the last one is right side up. The first two also have a rule of thirds grid over it. I also made note to see what my large number was, my uh, dimensions here. So this is 9.275 inches this way and it is 7.90 inches this way. Then we had the math sheet to do. The largest paper that we have to work on is 11 inches by 15 inches. So here's how, here's a, your quick review on how to do this sheet. The large side is 15 inches. So in other words, let's say we just want to get this image in proportion to this, or this paper in proportion to this image, I should say. If I had a square image, the largest square I'd be able to get out of this 15 by 11 paper is 11 by 11. I cannot extend this 11 to be 15. So what I needed to do was figure out what is my proportion of this image on this sheet of paper. So I took the large side, which is 15, and the short side, which is 11, and that's this sheet. Then I used my original image dimensions. So my large side was 9.275, and my smaller side was 7.90. I took 15 and divided it by the large side to get 1.617. I took the short side and divided it by my short side image, which is 7.90, and I came up with my two numbers, which is 1.392. Of these two numbers, it says, what is the smaller of these two answers? Write that here. So between 1.617 and 1.392, our smaller number is 1.392, which is now uh, denoted as a C. Now I have my original long side image, which is 9.25. So you're gonna transfer your number, whatever your number is here. You're not using my numbers. These are your numbers right here. So you're gonna use your number on the long side and multiply it by C, which is the smaller number, 1.392. You're also gonna take your original short side, which is your number from here, and mine is 7.90, and you're also going to multiply it by 1.392. Well, I know that because 11 divided by this is, is this, so therefore 7.90 times 1.392 should be 11. But the one I have to do on my calculator is 9.275 times my smaller number, which is 12.914. So now I'm working with these two numbers here. It says round up to the nearest half inch. So if I have 12.914 as my answer, the next half inch is 13. So I have my final long side for my paper at 13 inches and my final short side at 11 inches. What I'm working with is 15 by 11. So I know I have my 11 inches here, but what I needed to do was trim off two inches. So I came home and I, or some of us did this in class, we were able to get this done. I measured from zero to 13, made a little mark on the page. Again, to make a straight line, I measured down the bottom from zero to 13, made a little mark on the page, drew a line, and cut the excess off. So now you can see that my page is 13 by 11. And this is definitely more in proportion to this image than this sheet of paper. The next part, we'll be drawing our rule of thirds grid. 